I'm talking with Richard Hudson from Grant Thornton. Uh, you've been quite instrumental in the organization of ICGFM. I understand that the context or the subject of ICGFM sessions tends to change from one to the next. Could you fill me in on that? Certainly. Um, and, you know, I, I must say that I've now been involved in the, in the planning and the running of two of these sessions, starting out with the first one last December. The idea of the December conference, really, which was reintroduced um, last year, 2007, is to focus on a specific area of public, uh, public financial management and bring in the experts and dig in in some detail over a two, two and a half day period. And, and last year it was financial management information systems. So we went through the full cycle of you know, the planning and how that fits within the, um, the context of public financial management reform and then into the details of implementation and the benefits that you can expect. You have teams Planning for this session, you know, started six months ago in December, formulation of a, a steering committee with many luminaries in public financial management helping us to identify who are the um, participants, what would the themes be, and then we craft that into a program. And the three-day session is really about bringing together the multiple disciplines of public financial management. So we've got auditing in here, we've got accounting in here, we've got budgeting in here, and, and other areas that really we're looking for a point of view and a thought leadership. And it's, it's really about the interaction between those various disciplines. This year's session was focused on the, the looking at public financial management reform through the lenses of the citizen, through the lenses of the, the role of the media and also the role of the private sector in particular in stamping out things like corruption. So, so it's not just So in December sector. what will be the subject? So in December we're moving beyond diagnostics to action. So we're going to be looking specifically at the diagnostic tools to identify issues in public financial management. And you know we've introduced today the idea of PIFA and the indicators. Two thirds of the audience haven't come across that before. Uh, we'll be going into more depth about how to apply PIFA and how, based upon the results of it, uh, can you uh, uh, advance public financial management. But we're also looking at the sequencing of public financial management reforms. So, you know, what is the best practice? What are the ideas on the sequencing which you should embark upon public financial management? Uh, and how do you advance it beyond just the conversation to actual action for implementation? And from that, what works and hasn't worked. So it really is, you know, a, an, a, an information sharing uh, session. At the same time, fairly soon, we'll start planning, you know, Miami uh, for next year. And again, um, the general theme will be three days of bringing together people from multiple disciplines. And then the last two are more oriented on training. Uh, the training for this session is around uh, auditing and uh, auditing from the context of accountability. And we're going to look at the different types of audit in terms of social audits, performance auditing, environmental auditing, etc. Uh, but it's more training oriented as opposed to um, the kind of best practice and integration between uh, disciplines.